That stuff will kill you now, apparently. I saw an article online. Well, that is last on the very long list of things that I'm concerned about. Please. Caitlin was asking about you. Oh, yeah. Let her say hi. So no interest on your part. She's super sweet, but my loss. Hey, you guys seen Boyd around? No, why? Nothing. You? I am never setting you up again. What? Why not? Because you don't know a good thing when you see it. Rev! Open up! Hey, do you mind keeping it down? Am I banging on your door? No. Then go back inside. Rev, open up! I'm going out on a limb here. Rev might not be home. What? Yeah, uh, is, is Rev here? No, so quit pounding on the door. Hey, man. Yo, my girl, she's going into rehab tomorrow. Want to go out with a bang tonight? Rev usually looks me up. You ever been to rehab, man? It sucks. Come back when Rev's here. You've been up my ass for two hours about scoring some H. Well, I changed my mind. That is right. It looked like blood. Not in the fact that we don't know that guy. You don't have to justify it. You got a bad hit, you got a bad hit. Let's go in. No, because maybe it looked like blood. That's not probable cause to force an entry. He could have been marinating a chicken and spilled barbecue sauce on his pants. We've got three ODs traced back to the heroin reps moving. You want to wait for another kid to die? We'll do a knock and talk. Right? Whoever's in control of the apartment gets all squirrely. We'll take it from there. Upstairs. The heading. It's a signature cartel move. Yeah. Lindsay, put together a description of the guy who answered the door, see if you can find him in any of our databases. Hey, is your transmitter all right? Oh, cut out. Yeah. Uh banged up against the wall. Sorry, Jin. Alvin, I'm gonna need a fresh face in case we have someone pose as a buyer again. I'll pull someone from the academy. charge him a withdrawal fee. There's two drink minimum, so start knocking them back. I ain't gonna... Okay, then I want mine in that cup. Next time. Flight attendant. Uh, yeah, three years waiting until I got to the police academy. Flight attendant. You can break my balls all you want, but I learned more about crowd control and conflict resolution and intimidation tactics. Traits that will serve me well when you can guys detail me up into intelligence. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Okay, noted. Mm -hmm. Thanks. How about you? I just kicked around. Nothing glamorous. You? I was in the military. You see any action? I did, yeah. Did you see anything like you did today? I'm sorry. I forget I asked those. That was a stupid question. I don't know how Antonio's handling all this. If I had a kid snatched up, I would be incoherent. I used to think the cops under Voight were invincible. And then Jules died. I was holding her hand. As a soldier, how did you deal with it? Generally, I take it out on those who didn't deserve it. Go through these one by one, see if anyone crosses with Pope or Ernesto. These are mine. Okay, look, remember, the red tab files are the CIs that have been paid out, okay? And you can't... Hey, no, 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 no. Those don't go in that pile. You gotta keep it separate or you're gonna get it confused with the other ones. And Jin. you know what? I told you... Jin. Yeah. 
What you got so far on the video? Okay. Recorded last night. There's some other voices in the distance on the audio track, so there's reason to believe that it was in a public place, back room of a bar, maybe a motel. There's really not much to go on, though. Thanks. Post it, Lindsay. Miss it. In case we're going to consider a trade, I want you to check out these locations. Sight lines, sniper spots, the works. You considering negotiating? Just check it out. Okay. All right, put snipers there and there. And two more snipers in the windows there. Yeah, okay. What is it? You know what percentage of kidnapping then in a successful swap? Less than 1%. It's just a contingency. Mm. I gotta ask you something. Go ahead. I saw your file. As one of Voight's CIs. <laughs> Did he turn you out? He didn't have to turn me out. I volunteered because he saved my life. No offense, oh, I don't want you anywhere near. Does that mean you set a date? Uh, today's the 21st, so six months today. Oh, man, today's the 21st. Yeah, it usually follows the 20th. What's up? Nothing. All right, during two unrelated wire investigations, surveillance followed three of Area Central's top-ranking gang targets to this house on Carpenter. Narcotics hasn't gotten anywhere with it, so command staff wants intelligence on it. Roll out in five. You really want to know if he's dirty or not, ask her. Jazzercise size like a block south. Yeah, nice muscle tee. This is perfectly acceptable attire for the boxing gym. No, absolutely. And the bonus is you don't have to change later when you break dance. Oh. <laughs> it's voice kid. Justin. This is Antonio and Jay. I work with them. Antonio's buddy owns the gym, hence the 30% discount. 20. Nice try. All right. How you doing? Hey, I'll make some calls. He's like my little brother. I'm just trying to keep him out of trouble. Good luck. Just give him a shot. I'm saying is Justin looks like an uphill battle. The kid lost his mother and then did a year in prison. He just needs to get his bearings. You see the attitude he gave me in the gym? If I had just gotten out of Statesville and been made to shake hands with a bunch of cops, I would have had the exact same attitude. I don't think it's so much I'm a cop as much as Justin thinks I'm your boyfriend. You wish. You wish. No, you wish. All right, so our girl in the ER is Amber Morris. Amber and her three friends here are all undergrads at Central Chicago University. This is who we're looking for. We checked Amber's Facebook page. There's pictures of them living it up in Cabo. But not just from this trip. Amber's been down there twice in the last three months. First time she did the run herself, this time she recruited friends. So we gotta assume all these girls are mules and ingesting the same type of balloons packed with coke. You guys, I ran down those girls' addresses. All three live on campus. We gotta move. Go. You like working in this unit, you keep it in your pants. I didn't know it was out. Aaron's off limits. End of discussion. All right, Hank, just keep us posted on the van. It's so messed up, these girls out there with no idea. Yeah. I'm gonna need a drink when this is done. What do you say? Oh, I don't think your dad would like that. What are you talking about? What do you think I'm talking about? She's awake now. You can come and see her. We're putting out an investigative alert on a Sean and Brendan Collins. They're the dealers we're looking for. Sean's the boyfriend. Amber says him and his brother, they hang out at a tattoo shop called Underground Inc. That's where they sling the product. Good work. I'll get a Linsky and Bruzy to set up on this tattoo shop. Keep digging. Get me any known associates. Hey, we need to talk. Come on. Yeah. 
The overprotective father thing was fine when I was a teenager, but I don't need you looking out for me anymore. It's Hulk that I'm looking out for. I've seen what happens to the guys you date. What is that supposed to mean? You left a string of broken hearts behind you since you're 15. I need Halstead 100% effective, not throwing pebbles at your window at 3 in the morning. You don't get to tell me who I can and can't hang out with on my personal time. My unit, my rules. You want to date a cop? There are plenty of other districts out there. You know, I saw that, but I have a thing I have to get to, so... So, are you working? What, what are you up to? Ah, uh, I'm cop. Seriously. Seriously, I'm a cop. <laughs> I would have thought you'd be running from them. <laughs> nope. Well, come to the reunion. And don't worry, there are plenty of girls who are still single who are as we paid. I think a big group of them are renting a stretch Hummer or something. Oh, and plus, you might meet someone. But hey, if not, I understand. It's good seeing you. So, morning, Sarge. Aaron, morning. I didn't know that Platt like loves you for some reason. Do you want a suit? Yeah, why? You're going with me to my high school reunion. Also, we're engaged. Wait. FYI, you're not just my fiance. You're my fiance that got in early at Facebook. Like, way early. You're worth at least 10 million. Well, how about I get a perm and I wear a hoodie and you can just tell everybody I'm Mark Zuckerberg? Huh. The reason I don't wear a ring? Why can't you be a cop? What does your suit look like? Like a suit. It has to look high end. I have nice suits. Jeffrey Baker. Yes? Detectives Lindsay and Halstead, Chicago PD. Apparently there's been some damage to your hotel room. Housekeeping made a complaint. Would you mind coming with us to talk about it? I didn't do any damage to my hotel room. Great. We can clear all that up down at the district. After you. Mackinac Island. What? That's where we met. I was at a leadership conference, and you were picking out property for the summer retreat. Of course I was. It all went down at the Grand Hotel. Fireworks, candlelight. This is good. This tells me a lot about you. I am adding color to our story. It's just like undercover. The details sell it. Yeah, just like going undercover. What? It's ridiculous. <laughs> you have no idea what kind of bitches these girls can be. There. Surf and turf. It sucks. Like I said, you can't see anything. Can you make this brighter? Come on. No, no, dinner hey, depends hey, on this. For me? I can't make it daytime. I told you. The image on the file is the image on the file. Fine. Hey, what is that? King Builders? If they have a private security camera in the lot, I bet you we get at least a plate off the Escalade. Genius. I am. Thank you. And let's roll the bet onto that camera, because that's where the answer is. It would help us out if you let us see any footage your security cams caught. I mean, we'd come back and get a warrant. I'd be more than happy to, sincerely, but I don't even know if we keep them on. Tell you what, it's all run by some company in India or something. Here's the number of our office downtown. Ask for Libby. Tell her Don told you to give you the number. She'll take care of you. Great. Thank you. I'll call the Purple Pig, seeing as how you're buying. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm thinking truffles. Right. Okay, I'm just gonna move you a little, just this way, and then if you could just put... Okay, is that good for you? Because in this light, your eyes are, like, really sparkling. 
Yeah, it's fine. Okay, then let's get it on film, or whatever they call it nowadays. <laughs> okay, in one, two, three. Oh, wow, that's perfect. Wow, you want to see it? I'm good, thanks. Okay. What the hell is going on around here? It's a boy. Just let it go. What about the bet? Well, technically, you did lose. He buried the footage, didn't he? Got it. Well, I guess I'm not paying for dinner. It's probably better we just keep it professional, right? Yeah. Jay. Yeah. I'm your partner. Talk to me. You don't want to know. Hey, good to have you back. These are yours. You all going for a drink? <laughs> no, I got some place I got to be. Hey. Never doubted you for a second, bro. Yeah? He said his name was Charlie. Kind of hot. Smelled like cigarettes and dry car. Said he knew you from a long time ago. Come. So who's Charlie? He's, uh, he's a guy I used to run with. Run with or run from? I got it handled. What's up, Johnny? This is Detective Lindsay. How's it going? I haven't done anything, Detective. Good lord. I thought you were working with a therapist for that. I relapse sometimes. He started by hacking into porn sites. Clearly. And that became government databases. It was just, uh, to see if I could do it. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're looking for a guy named Pulpo. His real name is Address DS. Do one of your algorithms. We're looking for something everyone missed. Go. That'd be a violation of the conditions of my parole. Shh. Yes? Detectives Lindsay and Halstead, we have a couple questions to ask you. What about? You know someone by the name of Adres Diaz? Goes by Pulpo. Oh, God, don't remind me. How do you know him? We met in a club once. I made the mistake of being nice to him. We noticed that he called you a lot. Like 144 times. <laughs> yeah, because he's crazy. I would have taken out a restraining order against him if I didn't think he'd kill me. Have you had any contact with him recently? Hell no. Don't tell me he's out. No. No, we're just checking. Good. Let him rot in prison. OK. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. Mama? Good luck. Cute kid. Do you know what he's into? Why? I just had a CI sit me down in front of him. He's involved in the construction site hit. Uh... What do you need here, Aaron? I can handle it. Really? How? When? Void's upstairs. He's waiting for an update. Just stop. I just need to move a couple things around. What does this guy have on you? Boyd always say, tell him the truth so he can lie for you. No, if I tell the truth on this one, I'm done. Do you understand? There's a dead security guard that they left behind a dumpster. Like a bag of trash.
Met your detective friend. Had a look in his eye when I said your name. I seen that look in your boy's eyes before. Come. Huh. Here's your blueprints. I need one more thing. Go to hell. Just call in a shooter at the Hancock at midnight. That should get a lot of attention, eh? Almost there, Aaron. Five yard line. That's my girl. Thank you. You're everything. That's why you have backup. <laughs> 